Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. This is going to be for you Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your reading Libra, I do want to give you guys a quick update. For those of you guys that follow our Tarot Lessons 101, we're going back into schedule this Sunday. I want to apologize. It's been extremely chaotic, a lot having to deal with a lot of personal things, as well as business and changes and all kind of stuff. So um, we're going back on schedule this Sunday. So you guys definitely stay tuned. For those of you guys that are new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, share, and hit that notification bell so that you can get notified of the new videos coming out. For those of you returning, welcome back, my lovelies. How are you doing, Libra? How is this Venus retrograde treating you guys? It's been freaking crazy, crazy, crazy for me, but it is uh, retrograding in my sign, so I hope it's not... Um, as crazy as it is for me, for you guys. <laughs> All right, my lovelies, let's get into your reading. By the way, happy Valentine's for those of you guys that celebrate. And for those of you guys that are single, do not despair, my lovelies. Go out, treat yourself, get you a good glass of wine, a good bottle of wine. Treat yourself, have a beautiful dinner, have a good or watch a good movie treat yourself. It is all about embracing love. And there's nothing more powerful than that of self-love. So let's get into it. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels. What are the messages for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for this month of February 2022? Give us a clear picture of what is unfolding for them for this month. Oh, almost flipped. Not really. <laughs> All right, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. One more shuffle. Here we go. All right, Libra, first card, Six of Wands. Wow, powerful energy here. This is about embracing, being confident, knowing what you deserve and taking it, knowing what it is that you put in, whatever it is that you're working on, whatever it is that you're trying to build off of, whether it's relationships, whether it's career, whether it's your finances. It's about knowing and embracing, being confident. Um, what I am hearing for some of you guys is, you know, there is nothing wrong with selling yourself high. So what I mean by that is if, as an example, if you've been working really hard in the company or business that you work in, and they're starting to take notice and they're kind of giving you this feeling of asking you like questions about, oh, you know, you're doing really good, Libra. Like, you know, you may be getting a raise. What is it that you're kind of looking for? Do not, you know, don't play yourself down, Libra. Like really put yourself out there. And if they're asking you, what is it that you want to do within the company? Like, be honest. If you're wanting to grow and go up the ladder, let them know. I don't feel like you have to be aggressive, but they are saying, like, don't self yourself too short. Um, I feel that sometimes you guys have a tendency of allowing things to unfold instead of, like, taking the aggressive route. And it's not that they're saying be aggressive, but what they are telling you here is, there is nothing wrong with asking for what you know you deserve, okay? Now, the next card here is, look at that, Ace of Pentacles. So a lot of growth in your finances, in your career. The month of February is going to be very prosperous when we're talking about finances and career. Now, your next card here is the Four of Cups, the Two of Cups, Queen of Cups, Two of Swords, Justice card right here, and the Six of Cups. Reminiscing about the past, Libra, I see you guys thinking or uh, being a little bit nostalgic, looking a little bit towards the past, what you've accomplished or what has, what no longer is when we're talking about relationships, partnerships. I see you guys, like for some of you, especially those of you guys that are single, I see you guys like being a little bit bored. I feel like you haven't really connected with someone or no one has really sparked your interest. And I feel like for a very limited of you out there that have 
felt a connection, a deep connection with someone. I feel like there was a, a missed opportunity here. However, the two of swords does indicate the fact that there is some type of fear going on with you, Libra, in, or in, in regards to opening up, in regards to being vulnerable. I feel like you create this facade or you present yourself to the world a certain way when in reality, um, it's almost like they're showing me like kind of like a hard shell, but within it, it's it, it's very smushy. Um, so that could indicate, you know, maybe the past couple of years you've hardened your heart, perhaps because of experiences or what you've been through in relationships. It's made you it's made your shell a little bit hard. Um, but the Queen of Cups here is telling you. Like, it's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to show your sensitive side, Libra. There's nothing wrong with that. And if you do or have felt a very strong pull towards a specific person, and there's almost like, I, I feel like you, you're feeling or thinking like, maybe they're interested, maybe they're not. It's up in the air. I'm not really knowing what to do. I'm not really knowing how to address the situation. What they're telling you is, again, we go back to that of, the six of uh, the six of wands and the ace of pentacles, um, which is indicating, you know, being confident, knowing your worth and knowing that, yes, you deserve to be happy, Libra. You deserve to um, find love or give love and receive love. Six of cups is indicating that there is, and especially because we have the justice card here. Again, we have your planet in retrograde right now, Libra. So for a lot of you guys, you may be experiencing a resurfacing of a situation that you could have dealt with the last time that Venus was in retrograde in Capricorn, which was in 2013 or 14. Um, so it may not be obviously the same person, but it may, it may be the same dynamic or the same uh, situation surrounding uh, or circumstance surrounding the situation. And what they're telling you here is do not fear to go after what you deserve or go after what you're passionate about, uh, Libra. Be unapologetic about this. Like, go for it. Shoot your shot. Take that opportunity. If you're dealing with a relationship where the partner is giving you a cold and hot type of vibe, speak up and tell them exactly what it is that you're expecting. And if they cannot give you that or provide that for you, it's time to close the door on anything that is stuck and move forward. That's what's going to help you. That's what's going to propel you. Um, to go towards that connection that you're craving, you're desiring in every single aspect. It's almost like there is so much love that you have to give and so much excitement in wanting to receive that love. If it's being rejected or it's not being appreciated, it's time to close the door on that Libra and make room, make way for new opportunities. It's time to take your power back, Libra. I want to wish you guys the very best. I hope that this gives you insight and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.